Hi everyone and welcome to our new video. Let me take you through a quick yoga flow that is suitable for all levels. This would be a great sequence to practice every day to get a nice whole body stretch and to feel strong and grounded. So let's begin here with three slow and deep breaths to ground ourselves. Inhale through the nose. And slow and full exhale. And again, inhaling into your belly, then all the way up into your upper lungs. And slowly releasing the breath out. Inhale into your belly. Allowing your rib cage to expand and slowly exhaling. And slowly blink your eyes open. Inhale and as you breathe out, releasing your right ear down towards the shoulder. Adding on, dropping your chin down slowly, and then sending your gaze up. And you can slowly repeat. And once you are ready, switching sides, so lift your head back up and releasing your left ear down towards the shoulder. You can slowly start tilting your head down and up. And again, repeat slowly. Take your time. Nice. You can release. Bring your gaze back forward for our side body stretch. So let's plant your right hand on the mat and extend your left arm up and overhead. So stretching through the side body, grounding through your left hip, your left thigh, and just deepening the stretch with each breath out. Feel free to bend your upper elbow, to press your elbow open back. So opening through your shoulder and your chest. Once you're ready, release and switch sides, planting your left hand on the mat, circling your right arm up and overhead. So feeling the stretch happening through the right side of your body all the way down into your right hip. And again, option to bend your elbow, to open through your right shoulder, roll your shoulder back and slowly release. Preparing for our seated twist. So let's take an inhale to lengthen through the spine and with your exhalation, turning your torso open to the right. As you breathe in, reach up through the crown of your head. And as you breathe out, deepening your twist, looking back over your shoulder and gently pressing your right shoulder back. You can return back to center and switching sides, revolving your torso open to the left, right hand on your opposite knee, left fingertip supporting your body, grounding through both sit bones evenly. And coming back to neutral spine. Let's bring your knees together and slowly make your way to tabletop position, all fours. Stacking your hips above your knees and shoulders above your wrists. Let's take an inhale, finding our first cow, lifting your sit bones open through the chest, eggs around through the spine, relax your head. And again, inhale, opening through your heart, eggs rounding through the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, cow, send your gaze forward or up, exhale, cow. And one last time, slowly as you breathe in to open, arching through the spine, exhale, rounding through the spine. Nice, back to neutral spine. Go ahead and sit back on your heels. If you'd like to get a stretch through the soles of your feet and your toes, you can tuck your toes under. So sitting nice and tall, adding eagle arms, wrapping your right arm under your left, binding once or twice. 
elbows in line with your shoulders and we will add on cat and cow with eagle arms. So as you breathe in, slightly lift your elbows up and as you breathe out, rounding through the spine to pull your elbows towards your belly. Now let's repeat one more time. And adding twist, so gently press your elbows to the right. Return through center and switching sides. Press your elbows to the left. Now it's coming back. You can unwind your arms. If it's already too much, you can untuck your toes. And eagle arms on the left, left arm underneath your right. Relax your shoulders down from your ears. And just as you breathe in, lifting your gaze, lifting your elbows and breathing out to pull your elbows towards your body. Let's repeat one more time. And coming back, adding our twist. So this time pressing your elbows first to the left, gently twisting your torso and back to center and over to the right. Well done, you can release if you like to shake your arms and finding our bind behind your lower back to open through the heart center, squeezing your shoulder blades firmly together, lifting through the knuckles away from your body. Well done, you can release plenty of hands shoulder width apart and coming to our first downward facing dog, grounding through the knuckles of your fingers, lengthening through the spine. And you can start walking down, bending one knee at a time, straightening the opposite leg and getting a nice and gentle stretch through your calves, the back of your knees and your hamstrings. Once you're ready, finding stillness, you can ground through both heels. As you breathe in, let's lift your right leg up high into a three-legged dog and you can start opening those hips nice and wide, your scorpion. Pull your heel towards the glute and re-extend your right leg back to three-legged dog and you can step your right foot forward between your hands into your low lunge, circling your arms up and Janiyasana. Square and level your hips forward. And let's add on our half split here straightening your front leg, flexing your front foot. Fingertips can be on the mat or resting on your leg, keeping your spine nice and long. Rebending your front knee, adding on our easy twist, so planting your left hand on the mat, right arm reaches up. And if you'd like to add your quad stretch, go ahead and grab the hold of your back foot to pull your heel towards the glute. Coming back to center, stepping back to plank pose. And let's bend your elbows straight back and lower yourself onto your belly. Take an inhale into your cobra. Exhale back downward facing dog. So gently pressing your chest towards the thighs. Now let's switch sides. Inhale, lift your left leg up high, pointing your toes, bending your left knee to stack your hips into a scorpion on this side. Let's extend that left leg so you can step it through, low lunge. Drop your right knee down and circle your arms up and Janiyasana on this side. Gently pulling your right hip crease forward, left hip back. And as you exhale, release, fingertips on the mat, half split pose. So great stretch for the back of your leg. So make sure you have your left foot flexed, keeping your right hip stacked above your knee. Let's find your breath here. Right. Rebending your front knee, easy twist to the left, stacking your shoulders as you reach through your left fingertips up. You can stay here again, option to add your quad stretch. So you are rolling that left shoulder down away from your ear and returning back, stepping your right foot to meet your left into your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. 
Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, circle your arms open, reach up, mountain pose, Tadasana. Hands at your heart. And moving to our dancing warrior from here. So let's step your left foot back. Adjusting your front foot so you have your right knee above your ankle. And turning your torso, your hips towards the side of the room. Opening your arms out to the side, gazing over your front hand. As you breathe in, reverse into peaceful warrior. Exhale, extended side angle, forearm on your thigh and stretch your arm overhead. Inhaling back to peaceful warrior. Exhale, cartwheeling your hands back to plank position and let's flow full chaturanga. Inhale, shift your weight forward into your toes. Exhale, low push up chaturanga. Inhale, upper facing dog. Exhale, back downward facing dog. Nice. Let's take an inhale, bend your knees, look between your hands. And as you exhale, step or hop your feet forward. Inhale into your half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. And again, coming back to mountain pose, reaching up high. Exhale, prayer hands, Samasiti. Preparing for our warrior two on the other side. So preparing your feet, heel to heel, opening your left knee towards the little toe. Circling your arm up and back, peaceful warrior. And coming to extended side angle on this side. Open through your right shoulder. And let's repeat Peaceful Warrior one more time. Big inhale here. And as you exhale, let's return back to Warrior 2. Moving to Star Pose. So straightening your both legs and hinging at your hips, folding your torso all the way down into your Prasarita. Wide legged forward fold. So feel free to find any arm variation that works for you. You can have your arms extended back or palms under your shoulders. Great stretch through your inner thighs, your groin. So feel free if this feels too intense, you can bend your knees. Let's lift your torso halfway up. Heading side lunge to the one side. And then switching sides. Nice. Let's turn to low lunge facing the top of your yoga mat and step back to plank pose so you can flow your chaturanga again. So take your time lowering down into your chaturanga. Inhale, opening through the chest, roll your shoulders down. Exhale, downward facing dog. Well done. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, finding pigeon pose. So great hip opener. So bringing your right knee towards your right wrist. Try to square and level your hips forward. Lengthen through the back of your leg, left toe straight. And you can be on your hands or you can just fold your torso over your thigh. For tighter hips, you can bring your heel closer towards the sit bones. And just relaxing into this pose. And you can go ahead, start moving out, lift your right leg back up, three-legged dog, so you can shake your right leg out. And let's switch sides, lift your left leg up. And finding pigeon pose on the left, left knee towards your left wrist, extending your right leg long, right toes straight. And once you're ready, go ahead, folding your torso, release it down. You can stack your fist under your forehead or planting your hands to rest your head on your hands. And really try to let go of any tension you may be holding in your body, especially in your hips and your lower back.
coming out of the pose slowly back onto your hands and then lifting your left leg up one last time to shake it out and coming back into downward facing dog. Let's look forward so you can hop your feet into garland pose malasana. Pressing your elbows into your thighs to open through the hips, lengthen through the spine and drop your tailbone down. And you can go ahead release to a seat and coming onto your back. Let's bend your knees. You can start pulling your knees towards your body, gently rocking side to side. And let's add on our spinal twist, so feel free to cactus your arms and dropping your knees, your thighs to the right. You can set your gaze over to the left. And about three nice and slow breaths here. Go ahead, start lifting your knees back up. Take an inhale here, and as you exhale, allow your knees, your thighs, fall over to the left. Slowly turning your head opposite direction. Relaxing your right shoulder down. And just again, try to let go of any tension. And returning back, squeezing your knees one last time towards your belly. Well done, everyone. Your final resting pose, Shavasana. So go ahead, extend your legs out long, relaxing your toes. Of the feet, if you'd like to bring your legs in Baddha Konasana, butterfly position, you can do so. So you can open through your hips, resting your hands on your belly and just take a couple of nice and slow breaths here. And then I, I invite you, if you have more time, you can stay here in your Shavasana as long as you would like. And if you need to move on with your day, slowly start moving out, bringing your knees together and slowly rock yourself up to a seat. Thank you so much, yogis, for sharing your time with me. I hope you enjoyed this session and I will be practicing with you again soon. Namaste.